Okay, so we're here with Rick, and this is a four bedroom, uh, two and a half bath house, uh, about 2,100 square feet on the first floor, and then the upstairs is about 700 square feet or so. And uh, what we did in the initial survey is, this is his access point that is upstairs. We go upstairs. So this is the upstairs coverage of his access point, and we can see in the, this red box is where the living area is upstairs and the guest bedroom to the north in the gray area really has insufficient Wi-Fi. We can tell because if it's yellow to green, you're gonna get five meg or faster, which is good for streaming data and streaming video. So down here in the southern part of the house, we can get streaming video, but the guest bedroom to the north, we expect it to fail there. And um, originally they had the one access point only on the second floor. And if we go down here and look at how the Wi-Fi is coming down from the second floor through the floor and ceiling into the first floor, we can see inside this red box, this is the house. The living area is this area. Right up here is the kitchen. The symbols you see are actually the next door neighbor's AP, but we can see where it's yellow to green that the upstairs access point only covers the southern part of the house uh, for five gig and at 2.4 gig doesn't do very much better. So here in the kitchen, and we're sitting at this table right here at this spot, we expect to have poor Wi-Fi and uh, non-streaming video and a lot of complaints. So what do we do to fix it? Well, on the first floor, we installed a new access point, which has four antennas for the 2.4 gig band and four antennas for the five gig band. So what does that look like? Here on the first floor, we installed a new access point that has four antennas in, and it's located approximately here where the blue circle is. And this is the coverage that the downstairs access point, the new one with four antennas, is giving us. It completely covers the entire house. It actually not only covers the house, it covers almost the entire backyard. And if we zoom out, it covers the front yard and in the circle out front. They like to sit out here uh, in the fall during football games and have football watching parties. And they, he has enough power off the new access point to watch a fire stick attached to an LCD projector and just leaving the access point there, he has enough power to do a streaming video all the way out to his uh, uh, traffic circle and that is approximately uh, 112 feet. If we leave the access point on and go upstairs, you can see that it completely covers the living area upstairs for both 2.4. Uh, it has a little coverage area right here in the northern guest bedroom where five gig we expect it to fail. So the solution there is, if, if somebody's in bed, wants to, wants to use uh, watch video at night, turn the Wi-Fi off and then turn the Wi-Fi back on on their phone. And so what it will do is if it was on five gigahertz band and you turn it off, turn it back on, it will look for the strongest signal, which will be 2.4 gig. So they will have uh, Wi-Fi coverage throughout the house. So to summarize what we did with this new access point, this is the original access point that was located upstairs. Here's what it looks like. And then if we go with the new access point, uh, this is what it looks like. The new access point from downstairs completely covers the upstairs, and yet the original access point, which is upstairs, didn't even cover the guest bedroom. And then if we go downstairs to the first floor, this is the original coverage of the up, upstairs access point. And when we added the new access point, it completely covered the house, the front yard, and the uh, uh, tailgate party. In recapping, we try to do things that we can do for free, low cost, and then go big. And uh, the original access point that was located upstairs, the coverage of it, it just didn't have enough power to get through the house. This is the Asus CM32. It's uh, an Asus Wi-Fi access point. The reason we uh, selected this is it is a cable modem facing the internet service provider. It's DOCSIS 3.0, which gives them 200 meg capability to the internet service provider. We wanted to get the best Wi-Fi access point. And on the Wi-Fi side, this has two radios that are both 4x4 MIMO antennas. If you want to know more about MIMO, I have that in another video. But with this access point on the Wi-Fi side, it has four antennas, four big external antennas, which means it has four big ears. This access point is located approximately in the middle of the house on the far west wall, 
and it's capable of completely covering the entire house. So they did spend a little bit more on this because it's got a better access point on the Wi-Fi side. We could have gotten a cheaper one by having just two antennas instead of four, but because we got four antennas, this one device is covering this entire house. So this is what we needed to fix this uh, house. We did uh, this particular four bedroom and two and a half bath house. We did have to buy a new modem. We bought a four by four MIMO modem. It solved the problem. And with that, we're gonna go on to the next house.